When America goes to the polls tomorrow, as we've reported, California is going to vote on legalizing possession of small amounts of marijuana. And one of the arguments being deployed is that there's another substance far more dangerous. A new survey gives us a startling look at alcohol in the world. Jeremy Hubbard reports. The revelations are sobering. Using unorthodox criteria, a group of British doctors and experts rated the impact of 20 substances, based not only on how they harm the body, but the harder to measure toll they take on the environment, families, health care costs, and social services. Their conclusion, overall, alcohol is more destructive than even heroin and crack cocaine. Unquestionably, the reason it's so harmful is because so many people use it, and so many people are dependent on it, and so many people get into trouble with it. The findings raise eyebrows, and not everyone agrees. How could alcohol possibly cause more harm than hardcore narcotics? It's a matter of numbers and availability. Alcohol is legal, socially acceptable, and it's everywhere. About 1 in 12 adults in the U.S. abuse alcohol or are dependent on it. Despite this report, though, there is hope. I've never felt better, probably never looked better. Innovative treatments for alcoholism, like this injectable drug called Vivitrol, taken once a month. It's able to cut down the desire to drink by blocking neurotransmitters in the brain associated with making you feel high. My whole life revolved around drinking. Doctors say medications like these have already helped tens of thousands of people like this woman. People who have a problem that may be more destructive than we ever thought. Jeremy Hubbard, ABC News, New York. What, what, what about that? We can affect change. We affect change with cigarettes. Can we check, affect change with, with things like pot? Well, we make it unpopular. Uh, look, I, I just think that there should be truth in this. I don't, uh, I don't drink uh, alcohol. I don't smoke pot. But I've drank alcohol and I've smoked pot. And I can tell you there's a big difference between the two, and that is that marijuana is a lot safer than alcohol. So I think we can introduce truth into this whole equation. We can tell our kids the truth regarding this. And when it comes to the truth and my kids, uh, I, I love them. Um, I'd rather see them smoke marijuana than alcohol, but I don't want them caught when it comes to, I don't want them subject to the criminal justice system when it comes to marijuana. It's not about justice, it's not about agenda, it's not about mobilizing people, it's about dialing for corporate dollars. These two parties have sold the U.S. government and the American people to the highest bidders. <laughs>